Good morning, everybody. Hello. Today looks like a scene from Silent Hill. It is so dark, so gloomy out there. I'll show you guys. Wow. So we're going to venture out in there, out in that. And we are going to go to that really cool shop I was telling you guys about called Bulk Barn. And basically you can buy anything in the shop by weight so it's all like individual bins and you just weigh out how much of each thing you'd like to buy it's such a cool shop um so i'm gonna take you guys along with us today i'll be filming that so you can have a look and i'll speak to you guys real soon bye um, are you all done thank you yeah not a very nice day but hey, you have to embrace the bad days, don't you? Or living in Canada, you just wouldn't get out the door. So, we're going to the store and we're gonna purchase uh, the things for our Play-Doh um, video that I promised you guys I'd get done. And we will. Sorry, I'm just looking outside at the little school bus. You wanna see it? Oh, how cute! School bus. On another cute note. Look how cute this is. Alex's mini dafts. Amazing. Okay, so we're just trying to get out the door. Who else with a toddler thinks getting out the door is actually the hardest part? Yeah. So, she's, she's crying there. She's found her sunglasses. Alex, come show the viewers your glasses. Oh my word. Cool, dude. Also, you guys, look. This is unheard of. The train set is still a set. It's still all put together. Um, it fell apart a few times yesterday. But with the new numbering system that we have in place, it was put back together in the same hour, same day. Prior to that, if, she, if it got mushed up, it would just sit in a big mess and yeah. So that's working for us, guys. Oh, here's a cool thing I want to show you. So, as you know, being in Canada, um, it gets cold for a long, a long period of time. And we were struggling on how to organise our winter stuff uh, winter stuff I mean like accessories so like hats gloves scarves that sort of thing um, and being me being a girl um, I don't just have one scarf one pair of gloves one hat etc etc I like to have different ones because you can accessorize it right make it fun so I implemented this last week it's just a simple um, over the door um, what's it called shoe storage and it really seems to be working so I've just rolled up scarves hats gloves and put them in each little pocket these are Alex's down here and then when you're getting ready to leave you just grab them and go so that seems to be working um one thing I would like to ask you guys um what do you do with um your toddler's shoes I feel like Alex has a fair few pair of shoes and um, not enough storage space in her closet for me to justify putting in like I'll show you like a, a typical shoe rack um, I wanted something maybe a little bit smaller um, I didn't want to put something like this in the back of her bedroom door because it just looks really cluttered in her bedroom um, so if you have any ideas let me know um, one of the ideas I was thinking about is maybe putting like, um, uh, sorry, going to put her shoes on, is putting some sort of like pulley out drawer um, underneath her bed in her bedroom. Yeah, mummy's going to put your shoes on. Um, and then her little shoes can just go underneath her bed. Um, 
like that I guess and then it doesn't take up too much space um, and they're kind of hidden away like they're not on show so yeah that's today's uh, plan we're gonna head out hopefully we don't get eaten by um, pyramid head <laughs> That's the Silent Hill joke. Link yeah, below if you've ever played Silent Hill. Okay, so we're gonna get this one dressed. We're gonna put your snowsuit on. Snowsuit. Can you wave hello? Hi. Yeah, we're gonna put your snow boots on. I think we'll take these sandals off. She's obsessed with these sandals this morning. She basically screamed until I let her wear them. So she's been wearing them around the house today. You know what? Probably come the spring, summer, she's gonna be um, they're gonna be too small for her anyway. Can you say hello? Hi. Are you stamping your feet? Stamp, stamp. Okay, you guys. I'll speak to you real soon. Bye. just checking in with you guys we made it this far um pyramid head has not got us yet Stay close, Bubba. Thank you very much, Eric.
So we're back guys and in hand I have a, a backpack full of things from bulk store. Oh my god. Did you enjoy the clip I inserted before? I know right? How good. Like it's a big as eaters, tea drinking, 
coffee drinking dream. <laughs> I managed to spend $65 in there. Eek. But a lot of the stuff um, is things for upcoming videos and things I need for in the house, you know, ingredients that I use day to day. So it's not all bad. So I just need to put it away now. So um, watch me unload it all and I'll show you what I got. Hey guys, I'm just starting to put all this stuff away. Have you ever seen uh, um, vanilla extract this big? This is 455 mils. That's huge. Schoolboy era guys, so this happened. As you can see, or as you did see from my haul, I bought a lot of white powdered stuff. Um, so I don't know what's what. <laughs> one of them is regular all purpose flour and one is strong bread flour. So the internet suggested putting a small bit, um, mixing it with water and then frying it off. Um, apparently the strong white one will hold up better so let's see how we get on I don't know if I'm supposed to flip these let's have a look let's have a look a bit difficult to do one handed oh god I'm screwed guys they both look pretty much the same can you see any difference in them? There's no difference, is there? Also suggested waiting for them to cool and whipping them. What an update! Solved, guys! It actually did work. One of them tasted a bit more like a pancake batter, and the other one tasted more doughy. Whoop whoop! Hi everybody! So I'm just going to sign off for the night. We've had a very lovely day and um, we hope you guys have enjoyed following us around. I've managed to film three videos today. Whoop, whoop. Hope you guys have had a lovely day and don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit the bell button um, so you get a notification every time I put a new video up and maybe share. Click share so other people can say you're on your Facebook page and we'll speak to you guys tomorrow. You say bye Alex. Bye bye. Bye guys.